You guys should never ever get Kimura from top half guard again. It's impossible. And I'm gonna show you why. The only, the only thing is I have to make sure that my hand isn't outside of my leg. So anytime if he's starting to attack the Kimura, I just want my arm to be bent and I want my hand to be in the inside of my leg, not the outside, which is really easy because as soon as he grabs my wrist and goes and sits up, I can just bend my arm and just make sure that my hand is on the inside of my leg. I don't want my hand to be like this because now it's gonna be really hard to do the counter. Okay, so make sure the arm's bent. I'm gonna post my hand here on his hip and I'm gonna posture up as I connect my wrist to my belly. So I connect my wrist to my belly and I posture up. You've seen it puts a lot of pressure on his arm. It's actually almost doing a Kimura to him. Of course, look at this. This isn't a very good control because I only have the arm with one hand. So if I try to do the Kimura, he can just pull his arm out. But that's fine, that's no problem. That can be my opportunity to connect myself chest to chest, or it can be my opportunity to sit cross body. And then I can try to work the pass from there. So all you guys have to do is keep the arm bent. You don't want your arm to be straight. If my arm, if he goes and my arm's straight, now it's gonna be really hard to do the technique. You see, because I have to bring it all the way inside, which is going to be difficult when it's my one arm against his two arms, right? So instead, he goes, I just bend my arm here right away. See, now I can post on his hip, pinch my wrist to my belly, and I can posture up. And then it's putting pressure on him. He's going to take his arm out, and then I can try to connect myself chest to chest. Okay, so there's gonna be one more variation to this technique. Usually we're gonna look for this once we've already established the knee cut. So I already have my knee starting to slide through. Knee cutting position. My opponent's gonna attack the Kimura here. I still wanna make sure that my hand stays on the inside of my leg. Okay, but because, uh, just let it go real quick, Hanato. Because my knee's exposed, my knee isn't fully trapped inside of his legs. It's already partially out it's gonna be a lot easier to knee slide through so I can just drive my knee out and to the side. Now look, I'm gonna bring my knee close to his shoulder with my foot facing away from me. That's gonna help me step over his opposite shoulder and now I can drop down right into an arm lock, okay? So the way that we're gonna be able to set this up is I have to rotate, I have to rotate around his head, right? We're only gonna be able to do that if our knee isn't fully trapped in his half guard, okay? Because if he goes for the Kimura here, you see it's gonna be hard for me to get this leg out. So we go back, but my leg's already almost out, and now he attacks the Kimura. So now I'm just gonna continue driving my knee out. You see how my leg's gonna slide right out? I set up my foot, I step over. Now, if anything, I can connect my Kimura here, you see? So the Kimura changes to my grip, and I can just sit back, and now I'm in the armbar position where I can go and finish. Even if, I, I like doing this technique because even if you don't hit the armbar, you still can come around to the side. Let's say he rips his arm out, that's fine, it's no problem, because now I'm in uh, side control or north-south. So. It's good to go for this attack, even if you don't hit the arm bar, because there's a good chance you're gonna hit the pass. Again, I start to knee slide through. He attacks the Kimura. I finish the knee slide. Bring my leg over, and I'm gonna do a big step over his head. And I can sit back right into the arm lock. Okay, if he locks his hands and I can't break the grip, no problem, I can throw my opposite leg over. Now I have both of my legs I can use to kick and finish the arm lock. Try that out next time someone's trying to attack you with the Kimura.